Hi everyone and welcome to our day nine here in Orlando. Now today we're going to be starting our morning off by going to Aquatica Water Park. Mm -hmm. And the only reason we're going there is because we got the tickets included with Discovery Cove. So we thought we might as well go and try it, see what it's yeah. like. Um, we're only going to be spending a couple of hours there until lunchtime, but we're then going to be heading to Shake Shack for some food. Now if you watched one of our previous vlogs, Shake Shack was really nice, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was really good. The one that Danny ordered, the chicken Korean... Fried chicken, yeah. Yeah, that looks really good, so I think we'll probably end up getting that, won't we? Yeah, I think you're going to get that. I think I might try something different as well. Um, mm. but yeah, we've got that to look forward to. And then later tonight, we're going to be going to the Kissimmee Town, um, Old Town Car Show. Yes. Which, is it, they have muscle cars? Muscle car, yeah, it's a muscle car show. Muscle car show tonight, so we're looking forward to that as well. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, so we're going to head over on the I trolley bus because we're staying on International Drive. So we're going to go and grab the I ride now. Obviously with Aquatica and then enjoy our first couple of hours there. Okay, so we're just waiting at our bus stop now. You can see our hotels there in the background, the Avanti Palms Resort. Um, so we're staying on International Drive. If you're wondering where we got our tickets from for the iRide, we bought our tickets on Florida Ticks. Um, they only cost us about £10 for 14 days unlimited travel. So it, it's one of, yeah, you might as well, if you go into the outlets, you go into Discovery Cove, Esque, whatever, whatever kind of thing on International Drive, it's definitely worth getting. Uh, just because it goes up and down and it's quite quite frequent buses as well you're not waiting too long for one um, so yeah i'd re definitely recommend it okay so here it is the i trolley bus okay so we've just got off the i trolley bus it drops you off on the main road um, and it's bus stop 25 if you are getting the trolley that's the stop you want to look for um, like i said it does drop you off on the main road it used to drop you off right here However, I don't think they were getting the numbers, so they didn't think there was any point coming in. So literally just drop you off on the main road now. Um, so that's good to know if you if you are coming on the iTrolley. Like I said, bus stop 25 now. All right, let's go and head into Aquatica. We're only going to be staying for a few hours. <laughs> it's not feeling too warm at the moment, is it? It's a little bit... It's not too bad, though. No, it's quite it's quite a nice temperature. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a nice temperature. Um, it's supposed to get warmer through the day. So yeah, let's go and head into Aquatica. So we've just arrived at Aquatica now. Let's go and head in. Okay, so we're going to go and grab ourselves a little sun lounger on the beach. I think we're going to try and get the front row because I think it's looking quite quiet, which is good. This is a good thing about Aquatica. It is quite chill compared to like your volcano bay. There's not as many people in. So we've grabbed ourselves some seats this time. So we're not going for sun loungers before. We'll go for seats so we can people watch. <laughs> no, it is, it is really chilly. I mean, I'm just speaking then to Vicky. I don't know how they make money here. To me, it just looks like it's like a loss making place. Yeah. But I quite like how chill it is. Yeah, it's, 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 nice it's, it's a nice chill environment. Like, right? don't feel hectic because there's not, not a lot of people around you. It's just, it's quite, it's just quite nice. I'll just spin the camera around just to show you how many people's here. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. <laughs> Very empty. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to enjoy a nice little chill. I might go on a couple of slides myself, um, but I don't know, maybe not, we'll see. Okay, so here's a big map of what the place looks like. So this is where we plonked ourselves, about here. And then you can see these are single people riders, I think. They are as well, but they're the drop ones, I think. Oh, them. they're actually quite good, them racer ones. They're single people, that's like family. I think you can go on that single. So there's quite a few that you can go on quite single and you have the rapids as well. I think I might start by going on the Omaka Rocker slides. Okay, so I'm gonna go and jump in the wave pool now. I think he's gonna get some footage of me. And then I'm gonna be going on the slides behind. Okay, so I'm going to go on the Wahanu Way now. I think that's the pink and the yellow ones, if I'm right. 
I think I'll try and get the pink one bit so you can video okay. on me, yeah? Pink um, one. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, oh, that was probably the funniest thing watching Danny just fly down a pink slide by himself. <laughs> Purpley one. Which one goes to purple? No one. idea. This blue one goes to silver. Okay, alright. So I've just come off the old Maca rocker. That one, you go like down a slide and then you go up and down, down a slide, up and down, down a slide, up and down before you get to the bottom. I think the other ones are better because it's a little bit faster, you gain a little bit more speed around the bends. Nicky didn't manage to get a video off of his because I said go down the purple one, but the guy at the top said you're on the blue one, so I was on the blue. <laughs> Okay, so the final slide that I'm going to do are these racer ones, they're really cool. I'll show you what they're like when we get there. Okay, so this is the ride that I'm going on. Okay, this is what it looks like. Tell you what the speed you come down on that. Let's go Yeah, the speed the speed you go down is crazy. I hit I hit a bit of water and my neck went. <laughs> see if you can see it on the video. I might try and zoom in and slow it down a little it's bit. It's zoomed in. You can, you can get it. See, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm all done with slides now. I think we're just gonna go back to the some beds just chill for a little bit and then we're gonna head out of the park, aren't we? Okay, so we made it back to our seats. We're gonna enjoy the sun for a little bit, aren't we? I think we're gonna be looking at about 40 minutes chilling and then, yeah, the reason why we're leaving early is because I don't really rate the food here. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I just don't think it's the best. So we're gonna head out of the park and then we're gonna grab some Shake Shack. But let's chill for a little bit first. Okay, so just whilst we're chilling, I just thought I'd ask Vicky what, what she thought of it here. I like it. Like, it's not somewhere where I'd want to spend all day. But if you have to just, like, a chill day where there are some slides and things like that, then I'd say it's great. Doesn't, doesn't feel hectic at all, no. does it? No, compared to Volcano Bay. Although Volca Volcano Bay is really good. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's just not as bustling. Yeah. Which I quite like, because if you have to just, like, somewhere chill to be, yeah. Like I said, you can still see now. It's still, still quite quiet around us. So, so yeah, we're just gonna enjoy this, enjoy this chill, and we'll catch you once we're ready to go. Okay, so we're just heading out of the park now. Had a nice little chill, uh, chill morning in Aquatica. Like I said, <laughs> like we were saying before, it is, it is quite a chill place. It's not like massively busy, um, so it's quite nice if you wanted to go there for just a chill. Yeah. But like I said, we're going to be heading out just to go and grab some food. I think we are going to Shake Shack, aren't we? I think so. Yeah, yeah so Shake Shack it is for, for lunch. Okay, so we've made it to our eye trolley stop. Literally stop 25 and it's right outside Aquatica. So Aquatica's literally just around the corner there. And this is the stop. And if you wanted to get off, the stop's there on the other side. Okay, so we've just got off our stop. Stop number 14 on the eye trolley. And we're here at Icon Park. And Shake Shack is literally just around the corner here. So we're going to head into Shake Shack now. Okay, so we're here at Shake Shack now. I'll just show you the burger that I think I'm going to go for. I think it's this one here. Oh no, that's, is that Vicky's? Yeah, that's the one that, that's the one that Vicky's going for. That's the one that I had last time. Is that on the other side? Yeah, that's the one that I'm going to go for. The Korean style beef burger. Okay, so we're going for the Korean barbecue burger, the fried chicken Korean one, dragon fruit pomegranate for Vicky, and I'm going to try the frozen hot cocoa to compare to the Ghirardelli one yesterday. And the total's coming to 31.59. Okay, so here's my frozen hot cocoa and Vicky's dragon fruit and pomegranate. There we go. I did try recording it and saying it, and I got it wrong about five times. And then Vicky's Korean fried chicken burger and my Korean barbecue burger. Let's go and give them one go. 
give them a taste. Now Vicky's already given this a taste last time we came and she knows she really likes it. Still as good, yeah? Uh, it is really nice, I've tasted that as well. Better than the Starbucks one. I don't know. Equal, equal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah frozen hot chocolate. I'm gonna see, is it better than Gir Ghirardelli one? That's gonna be hard to beat. That's nice, not as good. No. It tastes like a, more just like a chocolate milkshake compared. It's a bit thicker than yesterday's one as well. Um, but the taste is still really nice, like I said, I'm not, I'm not complaining, it's a really nice drink, but that Ghirardelli one was another level yesterday. Mickey's just giving it a go. You like that? I'd order that. Better than the Ghirardelli one? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I think yeah. the Ghirardelli one were a lot better, I think, but it is really nice still. In terms of taste, the Ghirardelli one, but for me to actually drink a full one, that one. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's really, that's almost like an ice cream, that one. Oh, really nice. Mm -hmm. Right, is this your Korean fried chicken burger? Right, this is a this is it there. Sanitizing with that bath and body works before. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Korean fried chicken burger. Oh, that looks juicy. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Look at that. Let's show the burger. Show what it looks like inside. Look at that. How nice is that look? Good. Just as good as last time. Okay, here's my. Korean fried, so it's got crispy onions on, cheese, beef patty, and some lettuce and spring onions. Right. Is it better than the Shack burger? <laughs> That's nice. I think there's too many onions on. Mm. It takes Almost overpowers it a bit, but. The actual taste is quite nice. I think I prefer the Shat Burger though, the original one. So I just got some of the sauce on it there and that was actually really nice with the sauce. But I don't think it's all over the burger, which is a little bit disappointing, but it is really nice. I think that one's the best though. You can't beat that one. Okay, so I just finished my Korean barbecue burger. Really nice. I just wish the sauce was all the way around the burger because when I did have the sauce, it was actually really nice. It was just only a little bit in like the middle of the burger, um, but still really nice now. I'm gonna try this again. That's pretty good, that to be fair. I know, I just mentioned the price as well. This is half the price of the one I had Ghirardelli yesterday. Ghirardelli was a 10, this is a nine. <laughs> you know, if I didn't have that Ghirardelli one yesterday, I probably would have said that was a 10, but because I had the Ghirardelli, it's a nine. Still really nice though. Okay, so all finished up at Shake Shack. Delicious that, wasn't it? Yeah. Always good Shake Shack. I mean, we've had, we've had it twice and it's both times been really nice. And the milkshakes are really good as well. Like I said, for a proper milkshake, proper thick milkshake, it's 10 out of 10. Just because I had that frozen hot cocoa yesterday, just about beats it. But yeah, we're just going to grab the high trolley bus now back to our home. Ah, back to our home, back to our hotel. And then we're just going to chill around the pool for a little bit, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, chill for a bit. Yeah, and then obviously we've got that old town car show tonight, which we're looking forward to. So we'll catch you once we're back to our hotel. Okay, so we're back at our hotel. That was probably the quickest bus yeah. journey we've done actually <laughs> so yeah, we're back off into our hotel room i think we're going to have a quick freshen up then we're going to go and chill by the pool okay so we've had our little freshen up in the room we're just off down to the pool we're going to chill for a couple of hours then we're going to go back up to the room grab some food and then head over to the old town kiss me i don't think we'll vlog much around the pool we're just going to chill aren't we i'll show you the view okay so sun lounge is secured what's happened to the weather <laughs> It is, isn't it? Not freezing. Not freezing, not but warm. you can see the clouds have come in, so the sun's not out. Um, it is scheduled to rain over the weekend, so that's going to change our plans a little bit. We'll have to, we'll have to figure out what to do, but yeah. to be fair, the temperature's still nice just to chill, isn't it? Still nice. Um, so we're just going to enjoy our chill. And just as we've said that, the sun's peeping out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back in from chilling around the pool. Nice little chill. The sun did come out and then go back in. Yeah. So it was like on and off. But it was nice, nice temperature just to chill, wasn't it? Yeah. It was nice just relax for a bit. Yeah. Now tonight we're going to the Old Town Kissimmee car show. <laughs> We've had a look for some food around there and we couldn't find anything, could we? It looks like all little restaurants, like 
that we're not sure how the food would be, so we're just going to play it safe. Yeah, so we're just literally going to quickly nip to the McDonald's around the corner. We're going to grab ourselves a pizza that we had on the first night, because Vicky wants to try it again. She wants to fully confirm, was the Blaze pizza yeah. yesterday definitely better than it? I need to refresh my senses on what the Mackey's pizza is like, so I can 100% say whether I prefer Blaze or not. Yeah. So yeah, that's where we're heading now. So come and join us on our way to McDonald's. So I don't know if you fancy two pizzas. Mm. What are we thinking? I think we'll get one pizza to share and then potentially see if there's anything else we've not tried yet. Yeah. On the menu, I don't know if there is. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have a look actually and just see. I just don't, I don't know if, if we fancy two no, pizzas. I think it's just to have it. Or yeah, to... like half a pizza each would be nice, but then yeah. would that be enough to fill us? Probably not. Probably not. So, we'll see what they've got. Yeah, we'll see what we've got and we'll let you know. Okay, so we're just turning at McDonald's now. This is actually the world's biggest McDonald's. If you're not seeing our travel day vlog, we came here and this is where we tried the pizza, wasn't it, Vic? Yes. Does it feel like eight, nine days ago since we were last year? Yeah. Doesn't, does it? I know I came on my own, but we're back. We're back. Okay, so we've put our pepperoni and black olives pizza down. Let's see what else we want. Let's see if there's anything different there. Philly cheese sticks, I think the only thing that's different, but I don't, don't know if I fancy that. Mm. Mm. Nothing really massively different, is there? No. So we decided to go for this deluxe spicy McCrispy, and the total has come to 2360. Okay, Danny's trying the McSpicy this time. Deluxe one. Oh. Deluxe to a McSpicy in America just means it's got lettuce and a tomato on. <laughs> but I, need, I feel like I needed that to add to it. Mm. It's alright, isn't it? Mm. Spicy to me, but I feel like good spice to you. Mm. Okay, and Vicky's going to try the pizza. Is it better than the Blaze or is Blaze better? Good. Sticking with blazer though. Mm -hmm. But this is still very good considering it's Mackey's. It's very good. I like it. Yeah. Blaze is a ten what's Mackey's? Nine. Just just misses out on a nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is really good, I mean you can see what it looks like here. Nice. Mm -hmm. Right, let's enjoy our food and then Straight off to the car show from here. So we've just finished our food. Final verdict? Blaze is 100% better. Although McDonald's is still really nice. Yes. And it's a good option, especially uh -huh. if you're saying an iDrive, it's literally yeah. right next to you. It, it's, it's really, really good pizza, but Blaze just takes it for me. I think just... Blaze is, a, Blaze is a full package, isn't it? Yeah. Like absolutely. I said, if, you, if you've been to Blaze before, you'll know how good it is. Yeah. If you've never been to Blaze, go. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Right, we're just going to get our final little bits together. Uh -huh. Then we're going to grab our taxi to the old town Kissimmee. Okay, so we grabbed the eye trolley to the Vineland Outlet. And we just ordered our Uber. It cost us $15.50, so not a bad price. Nice. We're heading to the old town Kissimmee. Hopefully, we're getting there in time for the car show. I think it finishes at about 8.15. And it's about 15 minutes past 7 now. So we should hopefully have enough time. So we've just arrived at Old Town Kissimmee now. Let's go and explore the cars behind us. There's some really cool ones that I can see already, so let's go in. It's got the red stripes on the Yeah. I love this one, the, the Iron Man one. How cool is that? Yeah. How amazing are some of these cars, isn't it? Cool, aren't they? Yeah, it's brilliant just looking around, and they're all like welcoming you into have a look at your cars and stuff. It's cool. This car here, bit for the right. Brilliant. How nice is that one? I think this Riddler has to be my favourite. I'll have a look inside.
Okay, so we just crossed over onto the other side because there's another selection of cars. Brilliant, isn't it? It's so good. I mean, if you're a Star Wars fan, this is unbelievable. Kitted out with all the all the figures, Darth Vader style. This one's brilliant here. It's all themed to Star Wars and Darth Vader. <laughs> all the all the little details that you can see, like even down here, up above. Gear stick. Let's have a look. Yeah, Darth Vader just casually there as a gear stick. Brilliant. The atmosphere here in Old Town Kissimmee is unbelievable. Definitely recommend you come down and visit here. How cool are those cars? It's just like seeing heaven. Unbelievable. So Especially like the, the blackout Mustangs and the LED lights are amazing. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head down like a shopping street, head in a couple of shops um, and see if we want to buy anything. I know there's like a muscle car t-shirts we want to try and look for. I'll be buying them. If we find them. We'll find them somewhere. Okay, so we're spotted loads of car t-shirts in here. So it's called Wounding Around. We're gonna have a look inside. Yeah, I quite like this car that one here, but yeah, that is nice. Oh, I style that one. Which one do you like? That one. Yeah, that looks nice with some cycling shots. Some of these designs are really cool, like that. How cool are these? We're looking for a Mustangy type one. Some of these Mustang designs are really cool. I like this one, but it says the, the Mustang Madness can't be cured, and we're not sure about that way. Boys love Mustangs. <laughs> See, that design's really nice, we just spotted. The one that Vicky's picked up at the moment is this design here, which is really cool. And they're all about $24.99, which is really good. you think you'd come in this shop to look at car t-shirts for me, wouldn't you? Who do you have it? <laughs> so you love the Mustang, don't you? You do. But yeah, the designs in here are really cool. I mean, the price is not bad as well for, for the amount of graphic design on this. So I've just picked up this t-shirt here. I wanted one that was like focused on the old town, not just like any type, any type of car t-shirt. Um, so it says that old town here, and that's only 19.99. It's in the sale. Good that. I like, love the design on that. I know it's, I know it's pink, but who cares? Pink to make the boys wink. I love the design on this one, but they only have it in a size medium, which I'm a large, so I don't think that would fit me. Okay, so we're just come back. Vicky, show the bag. Four t-shirts later. <laughs> we'll show you all the t-shirts when we get back home, but I think we showed you them in the store, but we'll properly show you them later. So all the cars are now doing a special annual parade driving around the old town. So we're gonna get to see all the cars again.
Okay, so we're just gonna head into this black market mineral shop now. Okay, so we've just come out of the black market mineral shop and Vicky has grabbed herself a ring. <laughs> now it's a gold ring that she wanted. If you just, I'll try and get to this bit of light before I show it. Yeah. Um, it came to a total of $32, which is about 26 pound. Um, I think I think it's really good. Yeah. Some really nice stuff in there, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, and it's something that you can't get at home. Yeah. You know? Right, go on, show us with this light here. Okay, there it is. How stunning is that? I love the shape on it as well, like the teardrop shape, yeah, isn't it's it? Nice. It's gorgeous, yeah. Right, what we're going to do now, oh, I forgot to mention, that car show that was going up and down the streets was a 12th year anniversary special of the muscle car show, which is really cool. Timed it well. Yeah, so like I said, that normally never happens. It normally just park up the cars, yeah. so that was really cool. Um, so we're just going to grab ourselves an Uber now back to our hotel, and we'll catch you when we're there. So we just grabbed ourselves an Uber, that cost us $17.66. Mm -hmm. Really good to be fair to get all the way home. Yep. So we'll catch you once we're back at the hotel. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of our Uber, Vicky's waving her off again. <laughs> she was lovely, wasn't she? She was so nice. She yeah. was our, our best Uber driver we've had. Yeah, definitely. I think so, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Her driving was great, her like people skills were brilliant. She yeah. was just all around just lovely, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Well, it's good it's good to see because we have had some questionable Uber drivers over the over the holiday, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so much of a relief though when you when you get in the car and you're like, Oh, you they're a good driver, yeah. yeah. For the rest of the journey. And me and Vicky's actually talking instead of being silent on yeah. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anyways we're back to the hotel. Give us a second and we'll catch you in our room. Okay, so we're back into the room. Look at this display of t shirts. Now, we'll talk you through them. The top two over here that you can see, me and Vicky have both got matching t-shirts. They were actually on sale, weren't they? Yeah, they were... 19 dollars Yeah, so we've got to get matching ones. Yeah, really good price. I mean, that's about £16, £15.50 or something. Um, yeah, I wanted a t-shirt that was like specific to kissing me, like where we've been. Yeah. Although these t-shirts are really nice, I did want a specific one, so we went for matching t-shirts. Yeah. I think I might wear that tomorrow, we'll see. Yeah, I think we'll. And then, anyways, this is the one that Vicky got. Yeah, that's mine. I will be wearing that one tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's gonna be my my top for tomorrow. Yeah, it is. I, I did like that top. It didn't have a large in that one. No. Otherwise, I might have got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, and then this one here is what Vicky has got for her dad. Yes. Because he loves like the old style cars, doesn't it? Classic old old style. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the designs on these are so cool. Like, I love yeah. I love the graphic designs, and you you pay like. 25 for some random random one anyways yeah. um yeah i do i do like these designs they're really nice um so 19.99 obviously for both of them well one each 19.99 19.99 this was 24.99 and that one was 24.99 as well yep. um but we thought when in kissing me when in old town exactly. we're only there once aren't we exactly and it, they're lovely t-shirts like they feel good quality they're well done so yeah why not yeah let's just spin you around and let's talk to you about our day okay here Danny is in his brand new. That was the that was the name of the shop, wasn't it? Was it? Rounding around here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That old that old town, and then the back. Look at that. That is so nice. I love it. What size did you get? Large in the end. Very nice. So perfect fit really. So I don't I don't like them too tight. I quite like a Baggy. regular fit. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah. Nice. I like it. Like I said, I wanted some for Old Town Kiss Me and that just describes it. Okay, so Vicky's trying on uh, new tops. She's going to give us a grand reveal around the corner. Drum roll, please. Mm. Ta-da! This is the Mustang top. Let's go in the front. Got a little... Yeah. In the front, and it's official. Official Ford. Go on, spinners, back. spinners. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, our day was pretty good, to be fair. Yeah. Especially that old town kissing me car show was unbelievable. It was really, really I good. think one of my favourite things I've done this holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just something I'll remember, like, a lot. Because it's one of the things you do, like, as a one-off. Mm. Something just re that you remember. And you should do stuff that you remember, so. Exactly. So yeah, it was, it was really good. So I mentioned before, it was the 12th year anniversary of the Friday night muscle car show. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it was specific to that night. I don't know if it was like this yeah. year or this this term or, or something. But anyways, they were doing 
a special drive around. So usually I think they just stay in one spot and park, park up. up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but they drove around the, yeah. the actual town and it was, it was cool to see them all and hear the so engines cool. and everything. Yeah. Um, the favourite one that we saw, I like the Riddler one, but I think both of us really like the white and white and pink, white and pink one. Yeah. Which was which was really nice and I mean every every car there was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. I I mean all the Mustangs I like, all the yeah, Chevrolets. The same, I like. yeah, yeah. Chevrolets? No, um Corvettes yeah. I like. Um they all just looked lovely. Like yeah. every single one was good to look at. And the the people were nice as well, they weren't like stuck up in the car. Yeah, yeah. They were waving, they were smiling. You got the odd one that wasn't really yeah. interacting much, but for most, the most part. Most were welcoming it, weren't they? So, like I said, if you if you come into Florida anytime soon, um, definitely go out your time, have a oh, look, yeah. have a look online, type in "kissing me old town car show." I think and just... it's Friday and Saturdays, isn't it? Yeah. Friday's the muscle car, and then I think Saturday is either classic. I or... think they do an original one on oh, Wednesday yeah. nights as well. Oh, do they? All right, fine. They have one quite quite often. Yeah. Um, but that was obviously like a special one. It's definitely worth yeah. seeing. So before you go, plan out what day you're gonna go. Def think, definitely recommend it. Even if you're not specifically into cars it's even good to go to because the actual feel of the old town is oh, really nice like the little shops yeah so like even if you your partner's into cars or you know neither of you are into cars it's worth visiting the old town anyway yeah. and then when the car show is on it just gives it quite a nice feel because it's quite you know like there's quite a few people like yeah. everybody's happy so i yeah it's definitely worth seeing yeah and like i said if you're staying near disney it's around the corner from you um, and even if you're staying from where we are it costs us 17 dollars in a taxi it's nothing yeah especially if you're going to spend the night there yeah. um, there was obviously food options yeah just do your research before you go we were kind of like we, we, didn't, we didn't know what to do for the yeah. food um so we didn't do our research on it but that's our recommendation do your research before plan your day out um give yourself enough time as well yeah but yeah no i definitely recommend that old town car show so yeah that's going to be the end of our video anyways thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed it and if you have don't forget to drop us a like Comment any questions down below and don't forget to subscribe. We've still got a couple more Florida videos to come. It's nearly coming to the end, isn't it? <laughs> don't want it to. No, no. We've got a couple more though, so yeah. stick stick with us. Um, I'm hoping you, I hope you enjoy this series. Yeah. Like I said, if you have enjoyed it, fingers crossed we can come back in the future yeah. and do another one. Absolutely. And do Disney next time. Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching and roll on the next one.